Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm an independent stamina up demonstrator in the US. And I'm excited you're joining me today for a little bit of crafty fun. So you might notice behind me, the things look a little bit different. Yes, so this past weekend, uh, I had to pack up my entire studio so that my husband could redo the floors. It was the last room in the upper level to be done and I dreaded doing it. But I will say, while it's slowly coming back together, my room is nice and clean, at least for now, right? It's Sometimes I get buried under the crafty fun and I don't always get it all properly cleaned up. So this way I'm starting over. So, you know, next week, hopefully everything will be a little bit more back to normal. So. All right, I've got lots of great stuff for you today. We are going to do a super cool technique, taking our pattern paper to become wow paper. I will show you the cards because I made them in every color um, with the, the designer paper pack that I'm using so that you can see it in all the prints. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. So it's a fun technique and it's something I've never tried before. So um, we'll learn together. And then uh, I also wanted to share a few things with you. So we are in, gosh, the last couple of weeks. Yes, I can't believe there's only two weeks left in February. So that means there's only two weeks left in celebration. So we'll talk about that a little bit while we're crafting because we're going to use some of our celebration products, which are items that you get for free with a $50 or more purchase. So every $50 you spend, you get to choose a free item from the celebration brochure. Now, I will tell you, if you have a long wish list or you're just looking for a really nice um, group of people to hang out with, crafty people, like-minded people that enjoy sharing their projects and having fun together, um, you might consider joining my Diamonds team. So when you join during celebration, you get an additional two stamp sets for free on top of the $125 in regular product that you get to choose fully customizable, and it's $99. You don't pay any shipping, you do pay tax, but you don't pay any shipping, which is even better, right? So, so many good things. So if you have interest in that, please let me know. I'd love to have you join our team. Um, there's no requirement to sell. You can just join, enjoy your discount for as long as you'd like. All right, should we move over to the crafty fun? Let's do it. I'm gonna switch the camera over. Here we go. All right. So here are some of the fabulous, fabulous things that we are going to be playing with today. So I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are all here. I'm starting to see some comments pop up. That's great. Um, be sure to let me know you're here. And if you're liking this, these projects, and if you've got questions as we go along, sometimes I forget to tell you guys things that you might need to know. So it's always welcome to have questions come in. So, all right, let me, first of all, I'm going to pull all these cards up. Let's show the project we're going to make first, right? So what we're doing, and I made it in almost every color. So here is the, here's a Highland Heather base, and then the uh, gorgeous grape. And you see this gold, this gold um, marbling that's in there. So this one's a pool party base. This one's Coastal Cabana. So saffron, bumblebee, blushing bride, uh, I always say this wrong, calypso coral, balmy blue, and then we're gonna make a misty moonlight version um, today. All right, so we'll have it in every uh, one of the colors and patterns that are in the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. So this is one of the gorgeous paper packs that you can get for free with a $50 purchase. Of course, that's before shipping and tax. So don't forget to watch that when you're placing your online order. It makes me so sad when I see that somebody placed a $49.10 order and missed out on the opportunity. Sadly, there's not a pop-up on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, when you're ordering that lets you know you're so close. So watch that for sure. The other thing we're bringing in, a couple other things, is we're bringing in this special moment stamp set. This is also a celebration um, uh, choice. Now this one is free with a $100 purchase. So to get both of these, you would need to spend $150 before shipping and tax. You would enjoy your host rewards as well, yay. And you'd be able to get both these items for free, which is awesome. 
Now, if you're spending 150, you might consider joining my team. $99, right? You get $125 worth of product. And then as soon as you join, you could go in and place an order to earn these for free. Celebration items cannot be added to your starter kit. I do want to clarify that because I get a lot of questions about that. All right, the next thing we're doing is this is the amazing thanks dies. And we're going to use these for our sentiment on the outside um, of our cards. And I am featuring these dies in my team meeting make and take. So each month we do a card class, or the team has an opportunity anyway to participate in a card class. So they haven't seen the project yet this month because I haven't completed them, but they're well on their way. And we are focusing on this beautiful set of dies as one of our main things. All right. So if you want to get in on that uh, team make and take, definitely another good reason to join the team. All right. So let's go ahead and I'll bring these back out again. But I think the really cool thing is being able to add this, this kind of marbling uh, effect in there. So it really takes your pattern paper to another level, really makes it a wow. So if you've ever had some papers that you're just like, oh, they're pretty, but I just need a little bit more. This is going to be a great technique. So guess what? I am pulling out my gold leafing. Yes, I am. I can't believe I am because I, I've had this for a very long time. My friend, Melanie Hawkin, who is one of my, um, friend uh, that has participated in Maker's Mojo with us, taught um, gold leafing in one of our events, and I still have not tried it. I bought it, I was gonna try it, and I still haven't. It's, I don't like messy things, and this comes across to me as very messy, and it is, it definitely is messy, but it's fun and fabulous, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let me grab, I just realized I did not grab my cut parts. So at the end of the video, after the video, I will go in and put the complete supply list, cut dimensions, um, so you guys can place your orders if you'd like to, um, and be able to recreate these fabulous projects. So let's go ahead and start with the gold leafing, so I can show you. So I'm taking one of the six by six inch pieces of the Simply Marvelous. So this is the blue one, and I am going to use some of my just just the liquid glue. So just the, we call this the green glue, even though the glue itself is not green. We call it that because it's got the green container, right? So I'm just gonna take thin lines and I'm gonna kind of follow this print, it has a little bit of a, you know, it's a marble, right? So I can just pick and choose some spots right in this paper that I wanna add this gold kind of a veining to, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do the whole six by six sheet and we'll cut it apart and I'll show you why. This way you're going to get two cards out of your effort. So um, I've got double the fun in all of this. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll add a little bit more there. All right, I'm going to stop there. You probably can't even see where I added the adhesive, but you will in just a moment. So gold leafing comes in this jar and there is a ton of it, definitely a ton of it. So one of the things my friend Melanie showed me was that she actually pulls some off and puts it in a little um, glad container, you know, disposable plastic container, um, because a little bit goes a long way and this stuff grows. So my first recommendation, turn off the ceiling fan. That is bad. Bad, bad, bad to have that on. <laughs> also, don't be right in front of a vent. You want no air movement, if at all possible, because this stuff is light and airy. Let me open up my jar and it grows like you wouldn't believe. So it's just so, I, I can't even describe to you how light and airy it is. And it, it does, it sticks to my finger. Look at that, just floating, just floating down on the page. So I'm just gonna pull a few pieces out. I'll pull some out of my jar too, or out of my um, container too. So I'm gonna, I pulled a few pieces out just so you could see what it is in its natural form, right? This stuff goes everywhere. And then let me pull some out of my container. So this has kind of been used. As you can see, it's a little crunchier. It's a little more balled up because like I said, I made a card in every single color. So I'm just gonna push this down into the glue. These little pieces, get some more out here. 
I found that the appearance didn't matter if I pulled out the soft, you know, loose leaves, or if I pulled it from my already kind of smushed up <laughs> stuff that was in my container, that it really didn't seem to matter in the quality of my veining that I got. Now, do you remember this is a little bit messy? So you gotta be prepared for that. Okay, I think I've got all my glue covered. Yes, Stampin' Up! does sell. Oh, you love messy, Jean? Oh, yes. So this is a Stampin' Up! product. We do sell the gold leafing. It is in our annual catalog. I did not look up the page number, but it will be in the supply list. All right, so once you just have this down, push down in the adhesive, then you can just wipe away what you don't need. So I just had an old paintbrush. Um, this was a Stampin' Up! one. At one point in time, we sold these. And I'm just going to brush this away. So we'll get some of the big chunks off first. And I'm just gonna dump them back in this container. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let's see if we can get some of those big chunks off. I'm concerned that my uh, computer, you know how your computer like kind of blows air out? Concerned that my computer's gonna blow a bunch of air <laughs> to make this stuff fly everywhere. It is a messy one. I don't remember being one of those little kids that didn't like being dirty, but as an adult, I don't like sticky hands. I don't like things that stick to me. I want my cards to stick together. But so I, you know, on the first one I did, I really let it sit and dry in the adhesive. And I found that I actually liked the appearance I got if I didn't do that. If I went ahead and kind of wiped this off, while the glue is a little bit damp because the paintbrush is kind of spreading it out a little bit so it's not so organized. So I actually preferred that appearance. Now you can do as much or as little as you want to. So I'm going to stop there, see if we can get some of that off of that paintbrush and put this back in there carefully. Maybe. Whoa, it's everywhere. I'm going to have to vacuum. My husband's going to be shocked. I'm vacuuming my studio because <laughs> I got gold everywhere. All right, let's move this out of the way. All right, perfect. That's out of our way. So now we have our six by six page ready to craft with. Perfect. So didn't it change it really nicely? Let me bring back in a piece. So this is the same same paper, let's see if I can orient it the same. And adding that gold leafing just adds a, a wow factor to it, right? It's, it's very, very cool. So anyway, just showing you that. So let's start off and we're gonna cut this in half at three inches because you're gonna be able to get two cards from each one of the sheets that you do, which is awesome, right? So three inches, and then I'm gonna cut this down to uh, four and a quarter. I could have cut the four and a quarter first, doesn't matter. Um, let's see, do I wanna cut that off or do I wanna cut that off? Hmm, decisions, decisions. We're gonna go this side, not that it really matters. All right, so I've got my two pieces there. Now for my main layer underneath, I've got another piece of the same paper. I'm just flipping it over to the other side and I'm gonna cut this at four inches and then I'm gonna turn it and cut it at five and a quarter. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I wanted to show you that this little strip that we cut off the end of this is what we're gonna use on the inside. I love to bring the design to the inside. I think it adds a really nice finishing touch to your projects. Um, so I recommend trying that. Give that a go and see if you like it. Okay, so we've got our Misty Moonlight card base. So this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. I'm probably gonna have gold everywhere. All right, where's my stamp and seal? There it is. Let's start off and we're just gonna adhere this layer straight down onto our card base. Don't ask me why I rotated that. It's just a mood in what I want to show because I know I'm putting my sentiment down here. All right, perfect. And on the inside, I've got the same size basic white 
and I'm going to put this layer here and stamp my sentiment. Now, normally I would lay this down. Actually, let's go ahead and just follow my normal. I like to lay that down versus adhere it in place, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use Misty Moonlight ink. And the reason I like to not adhere this down just yet is because I'm going to use it for placement. But if I drop my stamp or I just have a bad, bad stamped image, if it's glued down, I'm kind of stuck. But if not, if I use it as a guide first, if I really mess the sentiment up, I have a chance to flip it over and I've not wasted all that paper. So I prefer to stamp it before I glue all that down. All right, so there, there's that. So where would I be without a friend like you? So lovely. The sentiment, the sentiments in the stamps out are so nice. So we're just gonna lay this down. Use a little stamp and seal. Just put that right there on that edge and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the card inside. So you guys like the gold leaf thing. Some of you are definite fans, right? Even though it's messy from what I'm seeing. Yes. Oh, sorry. That's the inside of the card. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our outside. So it's super, super simple. So I'm just going to take one of these pieces that we created and I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. Let's see if I can. Oops, there went my liquid glue, which we will need. I'll have to find that at some point. So I've got a sheet I've almost used up. Got the whole outside edges still to use, but that's all right. So we're just going to pop this up. I didn't layer this. I kept this pretty darn simple because I didn't want to take away from the cool um, gold veining that we added to the paper. Nice, fun. So you could add a layer if you wanted to. All right, next, let's bring in some vellum. And you know what? I don't think I grabbed, I did not. Let me grab it. It's on the other side of the room. Always, always, always. All right, so I've got a strip of vellum. I believe this is four and a quarter by one and a quarter. And I'm gonna bring in this Taylor Tag Punch. And um, you guys know our punches come locked and closed. So they are great for storage. They have a photo on one side. You can see that image on the top as well. But if you flip it over, you can slide that over and it unlocks, which expands this in for squeezing. This is the end you put your paper in. I like this. And a lot of times I use them upside down because then I can just slide this right in, see where I want to punch, give it a light squeeze to hold it, and then squeeze it. And the design of this is really nice because if, if it hurts to hold and squeeze, you can always lay it down and press, which is a little bit easier on days where my arthritis is bothering me. Yes? All right, two, when you're finished, you can just squeeze it close, slide the lock up, and then it's ready to store. Yay! All right, so now I have my banner, but I don't wanna put it down yet because I need to know where my sentiment's gonna fall. Otherwise, we're gonna be able to see it through. So I've got a scrap of Misty Moonlight and I pulled in some adhesive sheets. Let's see, I think I pulled in the whole thing. No? All right, well, I thought I grabbed it. So these come in uh, six by 12 long, long sheets and then I just cut it at four inches. So I'm just gonna peel off a piece. These are great for intricate die cuts. So I'm gonna lay this right down on this cardstock. A little glue extra here, a little glue booger. All right, so now this makes this a sticker, which is awesome when you're dealing with these fine dies. So I'm bringing in <coughs> the amazing thanks. And these are super cool because you've got thanks amazing U and R, um, U as Y-O-U and R as A-R-E. <laughs> and you've got an outline image, from the shadow image, as well as a detailed image to die cut. So they, they're intended to layer over the top of each other. So I don't know if you can see that with the die itself, but it's very cool. So I've already cut the thanks, the outline, shadow, whatever, with gold foil. So I use that die to do that. And then we're going to take this one. I didn't put adhesive back on this because I didn't need to because I had plenty of space, but adhering this skinny lines down is frustrating. So I'm going to take this and run this through the cutting machine. And now I've got my little thanks here. Okay. So let's grab our take your pick. 
And I don't worry about all these little pieces that don't come out. Um, a lot of times they'll um, come out when you're removing the adhesive. So let's grab our take your cook pick. There we go. Got that started. And I can just peel the backing paper off. And all this is sticky. Maybe <laughs> it's sticking to me. And one more piece, two more pieces. Okay, so that one didn't pull out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right, now I found the easiest way to put this down is to lay it, start at one end and just kind of work your way through each letter, okay? Because I kind of stretched it out when I took the backing paper off. It's pretty fine. Now these dies are in the mini catalog. There is a bundle. I, that's not the stamps that I'm using. I didn't grab it to show it to you, but all right. So now those are adhered together and I didn't have to worry about my glue oozing out everywhere, which is kind of nice. All right, so to put it down, we could have put adhesive sheet on the back of that and done the same thing, but I didn't. Oh, Jean, thanks for giving um, Susan the item number for the Gilded Leaf leafing. Appreciate that. So I'm just putting a little bit of liquid glue. This isn't too skinny, so it's not bad to put down. And then I'm gonna lay this right down on the vellum. So you know vellum will show your adhesive through. And I'm gonna flip that over and give it a rub from the back. Just to make sure it's all nice and secure, but I don't wanna get any glue on that gold foil if I can avoid it. Cute, right? Has a really nice touch with that background. Okay, so now let's grab some mini dimensionals because of course I want it popped up. You don't have to pop it up, but I like it that way. You guys know I like it that way. So I like to pop up any opportunity I get. So I'm using these mini ones and I'm gonna be a little bit excessive because I want this to be nice and secure. I know, probably more than needed. Okay, I'll go with that. All right. Whoops. So in case I hadn't mentioned to you, I do have a celebration, celebration event that I hold. Been doing it for a couple of years now during celebration. And those that spend 150 with me, doesn't have to all be on one order, but during the entire promotion, cumulative, spend 150 with me, earn their place in an event that I do that I call celebration, celebration. And it's a free card class, it's a fun day. Um, we get together via Zoom to have our card class. I mail packets out to everybody and we craft together on Zoom. And for those that want to, uh, I do a private Facebook group and we do a little trivia, uh, some silliness earlier in the morning so that uh, there's chances to win prizes as well. So cute, right? Super simple, but adding that gilded leafing just adds a really wow element, bringing a little more gold there. Now, could you sprinkle on some gilded gems or um, some rhinestones, something like that might be really nice, but I wanted to keep it simple, super simple. And it is, right? Let's bring in all the different colors again. So, um, so each one, I flipped the paper and the placement. So, um, because they're back-to-back -back prints, right? We saw that. So I put this print on the background here, and then this one, it's on the front part there. Does that make sense? And that's how I got my two designs there. So I did that through each colorway. So I've got my, um, sorry, Misty Moonlight and Mommy Blue, Calypso Coral and Blushing Bride. I really love how that one turned out. And then this one is Bumblebee. Bumblebee is one of our retiring colors. So um, if you love this Bumblebee yellow, you definitely want to get some. Now, my gut tells me that we might, I know nothing, but we might end up having a color refresh. And you never know what colors could end up sticking around. But currently, 
the uh, 2020-2022 in colors are on the docket to retire. So that is Misty Moonlight is one of them, which is so sad to me. Bumblebee, I'm not a huge yellow fan, but this is, this is a good yellow. This is so saffron. And then the other colors that are retiring is Magenta Madness. I know, Cinnamon Cider, oh. And what's the last one? I'll get it, Just Jade, the green, Just Jade. So it's sad, but if you love those colors, definitely stock up on those now because as soon as they announce the retiring list, a lot of times they're sold out even before then. All right, so this one is Coastal Cabana background. This one is Pool Party. Gorgeous Grape. Oh, look how that turned. I love how that turned out. I couldn't have planned that. That was just from smishing it and letting the glue go where it wants to go. I like really like how this one turned out too. And then this one is Highland Heather. So this was my very first attempt where I told you I let it completely dry before I wiped away anything. And it's still cool, but it's not as cool, I don't think, as when I went ahead and brushed it while that glue was still a little bit damp, right? Because I got those flecks so it didn't seem to be as planned, as organized. So I really like the look of that when you don't let it dry versus letting it dry and then brushing it off. So anyway, you guys love it? Yay! Good, 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 good. I hope that if you didn't already love the Simply Marvelous paper that you do now, um, because it is so much fun to play with and this is a really cool technique and it's not hard it is a little messy, right? So again, don't have a ceiling fan going on when you open that gilded leafing. You'll be sad. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, share this video with your crafty friends, friends if you're enjoying uh, the content I'm sharing. And if you're watching on my YouTube replay, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you all so much, and I can't wait to see you again next Tuesday for a little more crafty fun. Bye for now.